Yo, welcome back. So there it is, our beautiful car class, and it can print and everything. So let's uh, try and have a look at uh, creating a method, because what if I want the car to actually do something like, like uh, say, room? So uh, let's make a method in here, and I'm going to make it public again. For the fun of it, let me make it private to show you what the modifier can do for you. So let's say this method would be private, like um, it could say void. Now void, we haven't seen that before, but it just means I don't want to return anything. Um, I don't want to send something back to you. Like here, I'm sending back an integer, I'm sending back a string, but here I don't want to send anything back, that's why I'm saying void. And I'll say drive, that's a function that I'm going to make, and I just want the drive to say console.writeline, and then it should just say room, because that's what the car says, room. And I could make another function here, another method. Whoa, that wasn't what I wanted. That's the store, go away. I could make another function here that that could be, um, let's just make that public to show you the difference. Another void and it could say break. There we go. Again, tick, tick. and it could say something like console, right line. And it could say, I don't know how to spell this, but Something like that. <laughs> That's going to be so annoying on the sound, sorry about that. So now we have two different methods inside our class car, right? It's a private modifier here, it's a public modifier here. Here's what we should return, void returns nothing. If it would have said int or something, then it would be forced to return an integer. So I'll get an error until I do a return and then some kind of int value that could be one. Right, so the void keyword just means you do not have to return anything to the user. Okay, so let's try and use the drive and the break functions. Go back to our program and we'll write the car punctum dr no drive. There is no drive function in here. Notice another thing that's cool, the small wrenches here, those are properties where the squares, they're methods. So you can see there's a break method, but there's no um, drive method. And why is that? Because the break method, let's just open it here, the break method is actually public. But the drive method is private. So making this guy public, going back, now I actually have two methods. Now I can also do the car.drive. There we go. And of course we shouldn't drive until we break. We could just drive and break a few times here. Just to show you, there we go, let's run the application. Now it should say, room, <coughs> room, <coughs> something like that. Uh, sorry about the sounds. Let's get it up and running. It says, room, <coughs> room, <coughs> right? So, so now we have some functions. Now the car is actually starting to be able to do something. Of course, this is kind of stupid, but it starts doing something. So that's a method inside a class. And that was also the private and the public modifier just explained briefly to you. Let's have a look here how far we've gotten so far. We've looked at the access modifiers. We have looked at how to create a class. We haven't looked at the constructor yet, but we have looked at how to create a method now. No parameters, but still we've looked at how to create a method. And we've looked at how to create properties, right? So let's have a look at what a constructor is um, in the next video. See you next time.